Hello and welcome to all you Marvel junkies, subscribers, and people killing time until Avengers 4. It is good to be back after getting married, getting a dog, and getting rid of a lot of my free time. However, that time off only made my wheels turn harder on the greater mysteries of the MCU. And out of all the questions asked in the cloudy aftermath of Infinity War, none has been more overlooked than the true fate of Titan, the moon where the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy faceplanted hard, attempting to remove the gauntlet from Thanos. Thanks, Star-Lord. I believe that based on a few throwaway lines from the film, we could be standing at the threshold of an entirely unchecked portion of the Marvel Universe, ready to fly into the MCU. With the flood of spectacle delivered by Infinity War still heavy in the minds of fans the world over, I'm shocked at how little attention one mystery has received. What the hell happened to the moon of Titan between its prosperity and the ruins we see in Infinity War? Sure, Thanos glazes over the details saying that they ran out of resources, didn't listen to him, and thusly were riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, son! But there are important details missing here, and the writing room left us just enough clues to ponder what really happened to Titan and what that can mean for Marvel's future. Now, last time I checked, if your planet ran out of food, it wouldn't just flip its axis on its own. Despite what old Prune Chin would have you believe, something big happened to Titan beyond a simple food shortage. This is alluded to as the Guardians and Avengers begin scanning the moon Titan upon their arrival. Star-Lord's readings indicate the moon has been shifted 8 degrees off of its axis, and its gravitational pull is, quote, all over the place. As a planet or moon rotates around a larger astral body, its axis and axial tilt involve how fast and at what tilt the body spins while in rotation. This process is responsible for the seasons we experience here on planet Earth. Since Titan is a life-supporting moon rotating on an axis in our solar system, let's just assume they have seasons as well. Here, we might begin to figure out what happened to Saturn's now-shifted moon. As an advanced civilization, Titan's populace had to have had options to avert disaster. Thanos didn't have a great plan, but he had a plan and they turned him down. The people of Titan are Eternals, a group we will discuss later. For now, just know they're quite advanced. I believe to feed a growing population, Titan scientists attempted to shift their moon's axis in order to manipulate the seasons to grow more food. As Thanos shows, this plan does not end well. Whether through hubris, oversight, or sabotage, the planet was shifted a full 8 degrees off of its axis. For comparison, Earth's axial tilt shifts between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees in a 41,000 year cycle. This causes huge sweeping environmental changes on Earth as huge glacial ice sheets form and melt as the Earth tilts. If a 2 degree swing can cause ice ages here on Earth, just imagine what an 8 degree shift did to Titan's crop rotation. Personally, I think the Eternals of Titan rejected Thanos' plan, began their moon moving when Thanos, young, dumb, and full of feelings, confronts his people's top scientist, his father. Their words turn to violence, and the resulting destruction to the machines used to tilt Titan dooms their moon and just might be responsible for the weird gravitational readings they were getting. This reveal in Avengers 4 will confirm Thanos as the architect of his own planet's demise and cement him as the MCU's greatest villain. No more of this justified genocide BS. He's been an asshole from day one. Just ask his mom. Whether this turns out to be true or not, there's only one reason for the writers of Infinity War to be cryptic when describing Thanos' home world. Avengers 4 will introduce audiences to the Eternals through the story of Titan's downfall. If this happens, expect those Eternals to be Thanos' own family. His father, Alars, aka Mentor, and his brother and potential future Avenger, Eros, aka Starfox. Yeah, pfft, I, I wish. Here we go, that's the guy. Now I know these three may not look all that related, but I assure you there is an overly convoluted backstory that explains it, just in case you were worried there wasn't. Long story short, Thanos is an Eternal who carries the Deviant Gene, a gene causing more monstrous physical features in its carrier. This is what gives him his purple complexion, excessive strength, and strong chin, differing from his father and brother. Whether Deviant or not, all Eternals possess a number of superhuman traits in varying degrees including enhanced strength, stamina, durability, and a slowed aging process. Mentor and Star Fox, as part of the Titan Eternal's first family, are no exception. As the leader of his people, Thanos' father possesses the standard set of Eternal abilities, as well as significantly advanced scientific knowledge as Titan's head scientist. In addition, he can emit cosmic energy, has telepathy, and can manipulate matter. Star Fox, however, is the true survivor to watch, as his career has included a stint with Earth's mightiest heroes. In addition to being an Eternal, Eros can fly and mentally stimulate any being's pleasure receptors. While I'm not 
sure if that ability will make it into the franchise due to its questionable nature and Marvel is owned by Disney, expect Star Fox to provide another spacefaring Avenger for an MCU slowly moving into the cosmic realm. I predict that Avengers 4 will follow Titan's breadcrumb trail all the way to Mentor and Star Fox, the MCU's gateway to an Eternals franchise. Marvel has set the table for the Eternals to be the next super team to take aim for, at least until the Fox deal is finally finalized. The writers have even given a natural way to work them into the story. How else do you think Nebula, Tony Stark, and what's left of his suit are gonna get off that moon they're stranded on anyway? I mean, someone's gotta teach Tony Stark about quantum realm technology so that he can use it to teleport home, bump into and rescue Ant-Man before heading off to watch the battle in New York and just maybe manipulate the past. If there's time. <laughs> but that's my prediction anyway. This week's Prime Prediction. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks again for being patient while I cobbled this whole thing together. Turns out getting a new dog is somewhat time consuming. If you liked what you saw, please let me know with a like, a little thumbs up never hurt anybody, and subscribe to check out my next prediction in gaming videos. Next up, my predictions for what'll happen in Avengers 4. Thank you for watching, and as always, you guys rock, let no one tell you otherwise, and until next time, good luck in your day, and Godspeed.